it's Sammy from Scrap Masters Paradise and today's video is just a little bit of a check-in with you guys. I have not done any scrapbooking. I've been working on getting pictures organized and printed. I did a chit chat video over on my other channel. We have just had some family things going on. Olivia never really got over the stomach bug. We've been dealing with that a lot, going to doctors a lot. And so I just have not been in the right mood to scrapbook. So I've been kind of working on my pictures. I showed you guys how I organize my pictures on my iPhone. I'm still using the same way to organize my photos by weeks in different albums. And I really liked that system. And it is one of those systems where you can just kind of play catch up and you don't have to be on top of it all the time. But you guys know I'm notorious for not being caught up and not being organized with everything. So it's just been a really great, almost foolproof system for me. I am still doing the no spend challenge. I have been really getting back into planners and planner decorating. And so I ended up getting a bullet journal. And so this is the one I got. I will link to this one down below for you guys. Kind of going along with that, I'm having a little bit of a dilemma. I do want to do some planner decorating and planner related videos. And thus far, I have had them on my um, my lifestyle channel, Sammy Sweet Life, and I feel like if I go into doing the more decorating side of things, it should be on this channel because it's about stamps and washi and decorative stuff, and it's kind of artsy, and I really don't feel like it fits in over on that other channel where the unboxing videos and the planner walkthrough videos are more geared towards the productivity side of planning, not so much the decorating side. And so I've been putting those types of videos over on my other channel. I'm not sure that my planner decorating ones fit over there. I feel like they fit over here more. So I don't know if I'm going to just keep all my planner videos over there. I did start out doing my planner videos over here for you guys. And then when I started my other channel, I moved to doing planner videos over there. I'm going back and forth between what I should do as far as the decorative planner side of things. Should I split up the planner versus functionality side? Or should I have all the planner videos over there? Or should I move them all over here? And so I would really like your input. Do you think planner stuff is more geared towards the scrapbooking channel? Or should I just leave it all over there? If you guys are kind of not interested in the planner stuff at all, I will be happy to leave it over on the other channel and keep this one strictly scrapbooking. I feel like I go in and out of scrapbooking and being able to, you know, have content for you guys as far as strictly scrapbooking goes. If I get into making planner decorating videos, I feel like I could have more content for you guys over here. But obviously, if you guys aren't into planner decorating, I totally understand. I'll just put all of it on the other channel. I really want to do what the majority of you guys would like. So let me know in the comments section down below your thoughts on where the planner video should go from here on out. I really can see both sides of it, like planner stuff is totally separate from scrapbooking stuff in a sense, but it's using the same kind of artsy, creative stuff, so I can see it fitting in over here as well. My instinct says to leave it all over there. I was really excited to get this and try out a little bit of bullet journaling. I have bought a few planners to review and try out, and other than that, I haven't bought anything as far as scrapbooky type of stuff. This is the closest I've gotten to purchasing scrapbooking stuff. I still do window shop at Simon Says Stamp and scrapbook.com. I love both of those stores. And so I have really big shopping carts in both of those. It also really helps that I'm not scrapbooking a whole lot right now. I'm definitely keeping up with my photos so I can jump back in whenever I want to. That's one of the beauties of scrapbooking is you can just kind of jump in and out whenever the creative mood hits. Since it's been a while since I actually scrapbooked, I'm gonna really try to jump back into my Friday scrapbooking afternoons when Olivia takes her quiet time. I had been scrapbooking until she got sick and then everything kind of flew out the window. And so I hope to jump back into that and have some new videos for you guys coming up soon. One of the other updates I have for you guys, I did end up changing my blog. I kept my WordPress hosting. I did not like the free WordPress. I wanted to use the plugins and things. And I got a new template for my blog and it got a major facelift and it's really easy to find the projects that you're looking for. So if you're looking for just scrapbooking projects, you can hit the scrapbooking tab and see all of my scrapbook pages. Or if you're looking for cards, you can see different cards by categories, or just look at all my cards that I've made in the past. And it has made it so nice to be able to go to the blog and see everything. 
I am still working on it because not all the thumbnails are showing up in the main indexes. So you won't be able to see all the thumbnails. It will just have a title and then like a box where the photo should be. I've been really working in the background trying to get this set up to where you can find the projects you're looking for over on the blog. And so I hope you guys like this facelift. I really wanted to get back into the blogging side of things because I really enjoyed that part. And I just haven't been doing much of any of it right now. But getting the blog set up has been a major step trying to get it all organized again. I hope you guys are doing well. Be be sure to give me a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe so you can follow me along and catch my next video. Thanks for watching.